everybody, along with Ray Ferraro, who's down at ringside. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to Columbus, Ohio. Calgary's showing that winning can be contagious, isn't it? They're getting contributions across the lineup. They get it from all of their players up and down. Even the stars who have taken a night off or two, they get depth support. That's how a winning streak comes together. Two teams toss up the puck. Calgary's across the blue line. Puts it on net. He scores! And this place got quite quick. Well, that's the way you want to start on the road. You talk about getting early momentum. Nothing better than that. Well, if he was about four inches taller, maybe he would have got to that desperation effort, but no goal. He's got that lead. They were rattled out of his hands. Now he's got to chase it down. Centering pass. Stopped by the goaltender. And another stop. What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there. Gets the pad flat to make the save. Here's a chance. A two-on-one. Stays with it. Pass right on the doorstep. He scores. They tie up. They stay with it the entire time, Ray. I'm tired of listening to coaches talk about, oh, we followed the process. But the process is you don't get frustrated, you keep chipping away, and you hope to get to this point. Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. Here in the He's on this list among the league leaders in hits. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's all tied up. Play resumes as they win the drop. Scores! The deadlock's broken. That's a big goal, and they put him into the lead. <laughs> Centerman practice faceoffs at the end of every practice. This time, the defensive guy loses position. The puck ends up on the shooter's stick, and he rifles it by the goaltender. Calgary's effort pays up. Lead two, James. I think they've played quite well, but now you got a little bit of an opening. Try and stretch the lead. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. The Flames play along the wing. Scores! And there it is! 20 goals makes you feel like you've had a pretty consistent season. That's a good number for him to achieve. Hard to get him much quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Calgary's been the better team here in the night. Gutro. Who's the puck? Denies him. He got all of it. That's the horn, and period number one comes to an end after a very entertaining 20 minutes. Fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena. Welcome to all of our minor hockey kids here in attendance tonight. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Calgary's game plan was to get out quickly. Did they ever? They've had a pile of shots and a two-goal lead. From the right side, they gain the zone. Stops some cold. Scores! All over the rebound, and he puts it in. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away.
Calgary's opposition can't be hurt by Taves. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Merzlikens. There's the horn. Ending period number two might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Hey, kids, don't forget if you're a member of our rookie team, you'll have the opportunity to have a fun player by the after the game. The third period is just moments away. And both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Taves continues an excellent season. He's in the top 10 of assists. His teammates find the spot. He finds them. The Flames are on cruise control here in this third period leading big. Calgary's got it and they're on the attack. They score! James, how many timeouts can you have? Because they need one now. They needed one before. And the way this is going, they're going to need one in a few minutes. Or they could use the ghost of Roger Nielsen to wave that white towel. The defensive team can't get control of the puck off this faceoff. It ends up into the shooter's hands, and he beats the goaltender. And they're going to change goalies. I'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited. Their team has just been destroyed tonight. The Flames have been whipping their earth. This has been as good a performance as you can possibly imagine. There's really nothing to say behind their bench right now. Puck grab by Bouchard. And he's going after him here. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. Wow, and it's time for referee Gilles Levesque to step on in here, right? Yeah, this is clearly over, James. They've gotten pounded pretty good tonight, and I think this fight is a little bit of a message to the other guys, saying, hey, we're going to play again, and we'll be ready to go next time. The glove maintains possession. Hammers a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Scores! And it's getting loud here in Columbus. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Blue Jackets still have a lot of... What they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Wax it into the offensive zone. The Flames have it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Move to the middle! Oh, you can't miss that! Now, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. The Panthers are up next here on this extended homestand, Ray. Yeah, I saw their equipment down in the locker rooms around the dressing rooms. They'll put them in after this team gets out of here. He scores! James, I'm really impressed here. They just gave up a goal. Now they turn it around, go back down the ice, and they equalize the one they just gave up. That puck gets moved low to high, and he's in the high slot with a stick scratch in the ceiling waiting for the one-timer, and he does not miss. The Flames are in cruise controlling, and that's intercepted. The Blue Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. It is all Calgary's finding ways to win in so many different areas here, Ray. Doesn't seem to matter where the game goes, like which direction it is, if it's open or tight checking. They seem to have the answer for all of it. Man, it's fun to play like this. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.